This is a summary of the findings from the National Dental Practice-Based Research Network study on repair or replacement of defective restorations. Approximately one half of all restorations placed in general dental practice are intended to replace defective or failed restorations. Every time a restoration is replaced, additional tooth structure is removed. This re-restoration cycle has been described for over 35 years, and since then, numerous in vitro and clinical studies have been published. The results have shown that removal of the existing restoration will significantly remove sound tooth structure, resulting in subsequently larger dental restorations. The removal of existing restorations may also cause additional stress on the tooth with possible pulp and dental response to thermal, chemical, or mechanical stimuli, depending on the size and depth of the existing restored site. Possibly an increase in stress level of all involved, dentists, patients, and specialists, if additional treatment is needed, such as root canal treatment or full coverage. There is also additional cost and time to patients. There were several goals of this dental PBRN study. The first was to determine whether dentists in dental PBRN practices are more likely to repair rather than replace a restoration that they diagnose as defective. Secondly, to quantify the specific reasons for repairing or replacing the defective restorations and to test the hypothesis that certain dentists patient, and restoration-related variables are associated with the decision between repairing and replacing restorations. The design of the study was cross-sectional and was conducted by 197 dentists in their offices. Dentists recorded data regarding consecutively seen defective restorations in permanent teeth that needed either repair or replacement. Information on up to 50 restorations was obtained by each dentist. Dentists also gathered information about their patient and restoration characteristics on consented patients whose restorations were either repaired or replaced. The study collected information on 9,484 restorations. The results are illustrated by this pie chart and show that dentists were more likely to replace rather than to repair defective restorations by a threefold difference. This bar graph divides repair and replacement of restorations according to the dentist who placed the original restoration and shows that dentists who placed the original restoration repaired that restoration, if defective, 32% of the time. Whereas dentists who did not place the original restoration would choose to repair only 23% of the time. This difference was statistically significant. When we examined the dentist's characteristics, it was found that dentists who had 35 years or more since graduation from dental school were significantly less likely to repair defective restorations than dentists with more recent training. This finding is consistent with current educational curriculum. In the network, we had dentists who practice across a wide variety of practice models. We had dentists who worked in either solo or a small practice with up to three dentists, dentists who worked in large group practices, and dentists who worked in public health practice. The results showed that dentists who worked in both large group practices and public health practices were significantly more likely to repair than dentists who worked in solo or small group practices. Regarding characteristics of the restorations, Dentists were significantly more likely to repair defective restorations when the material in the original restoration was in both direct and indirect tooth-colored and gold material as opposed to restorations that were in amalgam material. This suggests dentists are getting away from amalgam. The study examined the primary reason that dentists reported for repairing or replacing a dental restoration. We found that the most common reason reported was secondary caries at 44%, followed by fracture or loss of the restoration at 35%. This is consistent with previously published studies. In summary, this study concluded that dentists in the dental PBRN were more likely to replace than repair defective restorations. 
dentists who placed the original restoration were more likely to repair than to replace the restoration, and dentists reported that secondary caries was the main reason for the treatment of defective restorations. The study hypothesis for the study was accepted as certain dentists, patients, and restoration-related variables were associated with dentists' decisions to replace rather than repair defective restorations as illustrated in the various bar graphs. For more information, please visit our website at nationaldentalpbrn.org. Thank you.